Hey guys, Harry here, and I'm back again. It's this time of the month, well, quarter month of the year, where basically the anime is ending and we're going into the new season. So, with winter 2015 coming to an end, and as you've seen, what I do with most of these is I just go onto any chart, link down below if you want to see what's coming out next season, and I basically just go through the list and things that I'm interested in watching, I'll just tell you guys about. And uh, maybe you want to check them out, go and give it a read, you might be interested in it. If not, let me know in the comments below what you're most excited for this season if I don't talk about it. Please let me know because I need need to watch some great shows. You know how it is. But um, basically just going to be going through this in order right now. It's on my second screen just so we can see what's what. So let's jump straight into this. This is spring 2015. And straight off is Baby Step Season 2, which I cannot wait for. Cannot wait for. Seriously love the first season. It is a shonen sport. It's basically about tennis in the second part. I think the manga's got like 300 plus chapters. So they have more than enough content to adapt. I doubt they'll even catch up um but really really nice show i love the pacing in it it's a bit janky at times because like sometimes a single match will take like four episodes and then sometimes you'll get a time skip of like six months in a single episode and it was a bit like wow but alas as well as that the romance in it is very very nicely done i'm really interested in that like side storyline it's just nice it's very very nice the next thing on the list that i see is diamond no ace ace no diamond and that is season two i don't I didn't even know that it was like getting split up. I know that recently, the first season, um, they actually give it a cut off for season one and that's 75 episodes. From my knowledge, it's been airing weekly. I caught up around, must have been around episode 40 and I've just been watching it weekly since then. So I'm not sure if they're gonna have like a week or two break between this because it says the first episode's in 12 days and I'm pretty sure episode 75 comes out this Saturday or Sunday. So it doesn't even look like they're gonna have a break. They're just gonna keep going and they've just broke it up for the point of re-advertising it now and then sales and just be easier for them. But that's a um, home run, what's it called? Baseball anime, um, just really, really awesome. Very action packed, very slow, I'd say. It, when the matches and shit gets going, it's awesome. The character relations, it's awesome. But looking at it for like 75 episodes and we're now getting a second season, which is just carrying it on because it's been weekly, I'd say, the overarching story is very slow, but it's definitely worth a watch. I'm really enjoying it. Like each week when I watch it, I'm hyped as balls to watch that. Moving down the list. Oh god, I'm actually moving down the list. Best show ever. Best show ever. Fate's Day Night Season 2. Baby. Unlimited. Budget. Works. This shit is gonna be amazing. Like, I've caught up with the visual novel up to the point of where it stopped. And I've been so goddamn tempted to read it because this show just fucking, holy shit, it's going to be amazing. I cannot wait for it. It's the most hyped thing ever. I will be doing weekly reviews on it because I love it that much, like I did with the first uh, half of it. Fucking Rin, best girl, this shit is going to be amazing. Fate Stay Night, season two, unlimited blade works, budget works, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be the goddamn bomb. Like, cannot, cannot wait. Moving on next, I see Grisaya no Raccoon. Now, I don't think I'm going to watch this. I didn't even finish Grisaya no... Uh, what was it? K Kijitsu? I didn't even finish the first one because I read the visual novel instead. And I don't really want to watch this series until I've read the visual novels for it. Because I think it covers the two of them. So the next two in the arc. I don't know how they're going to do that unless it's going to be like 24 episodes. But I'm basically going to leave that to the side until I've read the visual novels and then get onto that. Next is Hibaki, which I believe is a brass band sort of like musical anime uh, it says it's slice of life and it's a school setting so obviously it's gonna predominantly gonna be cute girls doing cute things i can imagine so i can't wait to watch that as well as that i need something to fill my shigatsu wanik kimi no uso void just your lying april was amazing uh, i feel like this show will do it like it will fill the void happily for me because it'll still have the music and instead of having the sad story we're gonna just have like the whole school music slice of life thing so it'll be a really nice show to watch and i'm actually really looking forward to it when i watched the pv i was pleasantly surprised so i can't wait to watch that scrolling down i don't really want to watch any of these things fucking nisako season two season two 
fucking manga's awesome. I'm gonna watch it because Shaft is Shaft and Nisekoi is a really awesome series. Don't go into it expecting too much. It's gonna be funny, full of comedy, horror and romance, just all around amazing enough. And from what it looks like on the VA, we're being introduced to a new character um, who is Haru. I believe it was Haru. Won't go into too many details, just so no spoilers in that, but interesting, interesting story. Couple good developments. I already think I know where it's gonna end. And personally, I could see season two ending with a cliffhanger. I'm saying it right here, right now. Nisekoi season two, probably gonna end on a cliffhanger because they can and it'll be interesting. But alas, oh, 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 Shogeki no Sama, Food Wars. I remember seeing the PV for this a couple seasons ago and I was blew out the water because the budget on the food, it, it's like straight up food porn watching it and I was like, shit, I'm hungry now. Watching this show, I'm gonna be so fucking hungry. And from what I've heard about the fucking eckiness in the like manga and just the overall story, apparently it's really funny and just a really nice uh, manga to read. So I'm very interested in the story and I kind of wait to actually see it animated because the budget is there. It looks really interesting. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Um, I may even do a first impression on that because I reckon it'll be really good. It's by JC Staff. So we'll see what's what, we'll see what's what. And then Dragon X I'm probably going to watch just because it's by the same writer as the dude who did High School of the Dead. So it'll probably just be... I'm gonna have to go into that with a major open mind. I'm pretty sure he did Trigon X before High School of the Dead, so it's it's gonna be very, very fan service but I'm sure it'll be a good laugh, and I'm sure the uh, boo physics will just be hilarious. And I think that's it. Obviously, there's gonna be the winter leftovers, like Assassination Classroom, um, Kuroko, and the likes of that. Oh, in the shorts, we have I Can't Understand What My Husband's Saying Season 2. So that'll be interesting, that'll be a decent show to watch this season. But other than that, I don't think there's much more I'll be watching. There is the Beyond the Boundary movies. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just the first one. I'm not sure if the first one and then the second one are coming out like at the same time. But I will be watching them because uh, Kyoto was it Kyoto no Kanata? I think that was the actual title for it. That I enjoyed that show when it was out. So I kind of wait to see the movies because I think the first movie is a recap and the second movie goes into a bit more detail so watch that as well as that there is the love idol uh the school idol movie which is coming out like what's it say 90 days so we've got a long wait for that that won't come out until near the end of the season so it'll still be interesting still be interesting other than that i don't think there's much more i'm really ovas there's gonna be a shigetsu ova that'll be i don't even know what they'll do with that i need to read the manga Shirobako, uh, Black Prince, yeah, awesome, awesome. So overall, quite a few shows there I'm looking forward to. Obviously, Fates Day Night is going to be my favourite show of the season just because Fates Day Night is amazing. But there may be something else there that blows me out of the water. Like this season, Seikano is probably my favourite show, even though Death Parade is like bloody amazing. Seikano just like blew me away. Um... So other than that, let me know in the comments below on what you're looking forward to and if you agree with what I think is going to be good. If there's anything you think I should check out, also let me know. But other than that, I've been Harry. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that great stuff. And I shall see you all soon, hopefully when I'm uh, more trimmed. But anyway, goodbye.